Hey Soul Fam, Coach Amelia Adir here. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are feeling good and doing good. I'm feeling good, I'm doing amazing, and I have a great message for you guys. And I just, it was on my heart today. It was on my heart strong, and I was like, hee, hee, hee. So we gonna talk about it, because this is going to help move you forward, okay? Um, and even if you're already moving forward, it'll still help you move even more forward in the long run, in the long run. <laughs> okay, guys, so topic of the day is knowing when to walk away. Ooh, knowing when to walk away, knowing when you had enough, knowing when time is up. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes we sit around in situations and we sit around and, you know, we sit around with people, we sit around with places that has, that we have outgrown, okay? So this could go with many, many things. Um, I really want to talk about job-related field because, you know, it's one of our main, it's, it's, our, it's, our, it's our daily life, <laughs> okay? Every day we wake up, we either think about work or we go to work. Rather, we run in the business or we own in the business, one or two. Um, and I'm not saying walk away from your business, but sometimes you got to walk away from the the way you're running your business, okay? So sometimes we start a business, right? And we putting the pieces together, we doing this and we doing that, and it'll, it'll get moving, you know what I'm saying? It'll work for now, but what you have to understand is there's going to be a time where you, you grow, you know? And so... The, the set of rules and, and, and the set of regulations, you know what I'm saying, the set of rules that you had for that business will change when, you're, when your business starts to grow. So some of us are stuck at a place in our brand or stuck at a place, you know, where our business didn't catapult the way we thought. You know what I'm saying? Like, we ready for this big... For, uh, you know this big finale and we ready for this big growth sprout we ready for these for these customers to come pouring in and you know maybe they're starting but sometimes it's not going as fast as we want because we're not doing the change you know so as your business is changing baby your rules may have to change a little bit you can't sit around and do the same thing you were doing when you had 10 clients to when you have a hundred clients because now that you have a hundred clients Something got to give. <laughs> Either the price got to go up. <laughs> you might have to hire another person or two. You might want to shift gears. You might want to add on. You might want to subtract this. You might want to sit around and look at your brand and see where there's some weak areas. You know, see where it's actually costing and hurting you instead of helping you. Now, there's going to be some loss for gain. Okay, so don't. Don't think I'm not saying you can't take a loss. That's not, that's not what I'm saying, okay? What I'm saying is, listen, because <laughs> I don't think I don't I don't I don't think y'all is clicking. You know what I'm saying? Like I I think you get a little defensive. Don't get defensive, okay? But when you have when you start your brand, right? Let's say let's use a scenario. Let's use hmm, let's use lip gloss, okay? <laughs> Let's, let's just let's just use lip gloss. So say you start selling lip gloss and it's doing great. You know, you selling lip gloss, you selling this, you selling that. Okay, baby. Now you might want to add some lashes. You know what I'm saying? Now you might want to add some 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 gifts to that. Like, you know, buy two, get one free. I mean that's a sale deal. But you know, maybe you wanna branch out. Okay, I, I I've mastered social media, I've mastered Instagram. So let me see if I can master YouTube. Let me see if I can master TikTok. You know what I'm saying? Some of us are so stuck on one avenue that we are ignoring other branches. You know what I'm saying? Once one avenue takes off, what what if your Instagram take off, baby? You you might want to go to Facebook. All right, how can I get this to work for Facebook? How can I learn it for here? So now you got two streams taking off. Cause what I see with a lot of the brands that I'm that I'm helping with is you have one stream that has taken off. Okay, that's that's check one. You get what I'm saying? So now that you have mastered the Instagram, baby, don't sit around and try to keep mastering it. You have mastered it. Okay, so now it's time.
time to to branch off and maybe teach somebody your your your, your tricks. Okay, there's some there's some brand out there that don't don't know what you know or, or didn't didn't learn what you have learned. So that's what when I say when your when your brand comes to a peak and you don't recognize it and you stay in that peak, you 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 strict your 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 brand. You slow your brand from growing to that next level. You know we we we. We love we love things that's easy, you know, but you never want to be at a point where your brand is is only relying on one one media outlet. Okay, that's what I'm saying. Cause say four years from now, Instagram shoots down, right? And I'm just using this as a scenario. Say Instagram shoots down now. Those four years that you could have been trying to build a TikTok or, you know, the next mainstream, you kind of wasted. And now you're going to have to start when the Instagram start, starts going down. Okay? So don't ever think because you, you got it, okay, that you can't you can't lose it. Brands close all the time. I was like, I'm sweating. It's hot right here. Ooh. I got a little window breeze. No, the sun is on my feet, so. Out here, <laughs> it's some real heat. <laughs> so, you know, don't ever get too comfortable. Sometimes we get too comfortable and we just sit back and chill and forget what it's like to really have a brand. Think of think of your brand. When when I think of my brand, I think of big brands. I think of um, I'm gonna just start naming popular brands that you kind of overlook that it's a brand because you, you, you know what I'm saying they are so their name has grown so big okay you got Walmart you got Costco you got yeah, Target you got Starbucks you get what I'm saying these brands are not where they at by sticking to one stream okay when you have one stream you're limiting yourself you're putting yourself at risk of maybe closing down in, in four or five years. Think about brands that has closed down. Toys R Us. Okay? What happened with Toys R Us? These are questions that I ask. And these are questions that I ask my clients. Why do you think Toys R Us is not here today? Okay? So do you want a Toys R Us brand? Or do you want a Bounty brand? A Scott brand? Okay? Some of us think too, take, think too small. I, I don't think small. We don't think small over here, baby. We think big because you're not going to be a big millionaire or, you know, you're not going to get to that top level if you never add to your brand. Invest in your brand. Invest someone to come and assist. Don't feel like you you, you do it all. Some of us done it all from the start and think we're going to do it all to the finish. If you think you're going to do it all to the finish, baby, you finished. <laughs> I'm going to let you know today. Okay, you gonna have to get other people involved. You can't just try to build an empire with just one person. You get what I'm saying? Or maybe two, or maybe three, or maybe you all scared, or maybe you just, you know what I'm saying? You you timid, you're you're hesitant. The more you stay hesitant, the more you you you, you put your brand on pause. Some of our brand isn't going to that next level because we're afraid to take that next step. You see these steps, baby? You got to get one, one, one to get to the top. If you just jump down or try to jump up, baby, it's going to be 20 times harder. When you could just go step by step. And some of us get to a step. See, you see right here, the steps come up. And then I, and I'm just, I'm just, I'm just flowing right here, y'all. I'm glad I, that I got this, these little steps right here. I didn't even notice it's coming in my room. But you see how you get to this level right here? And you get a break before you continue on to the top level. See, some of us, what we do, we get to this the safe level right here. We get to that safe level right here. And what we do, we stop. Not realizing, baby, there's another level. There's more, there's more to come. But if you're afraid, you're only going to see but that high. You see, when you get there, 
the views you see isn't as good as if you get up there. When you get up there, you got you you can see the whole. Like if y'all see my view right now, let me let me see if I can show y'all my view real quick. Let me show y'all this view real quick. You see, you want to be able to see views. And the higher you go, the further you can see beyond your view. But some of y'all afraid. So that's when I say, sorry, let me put this back. A little tripod right here. That's why I say you have to know when it's time to move. You have to know when it's when it's your time to get on to get on to the next seat. Get on up. <laughs> get get on get on moving. And some of us too with these relationships. Some of us are in relationships that we've been comfortable in for years. And you so comfortable in that relationship, you didn't even realize your relationship isn't moving. For the past five years, it's been like this. Safe. See this? When, when you move like this, right? If you was to see a graph, right? If I was to draw points on a graph, for some of y'all don't know that may know math, but stick with me. Next time I'm gonna come with the board. <laughs> okay. So here, when you draw, when you draw a dot graph, you draw little points, right? They go up and down, down. Then you could draw a line to connect those dots. And some of us are staying in this nice, safe line. Some of us aren't really elevating. You know, if the points start going up. Right? The graph will start moving like this. But some of us are going like this. So if you're going like this, you're just safe. you alive. You know what I'm saying? You just. But want to be up here. Some of us want to be up here, but keep taking safe steps. If you continue to take safe steps, meaning I know if I do this, I get this. But I don't know what happened if I do this. So I'm not going to do it. I'm going to keep doing this. You get what I'm saying? So some of us aren't doing that extra. Taking that extra step. Taking that extra initiative. Taking that leap of faith. Trusting that. All right. Listen. If I was able to do this for five years, clearly I got a good brand. Clearly my service is a need. You know what I'm saying? So clearly... Maybe you're not, you're not looking at it like that because you're still a little nervous. You know what I'm saying? It's time to get unnervous. It's time to, well, I know I was talking about relationships. I jumped back, but even in relationships, what we doing? <laughs> you got to ask your partner, where we going? Okay? And give them some time. Give them some time to think about it. But oftentimes, people know where they're going. Okay, they either want to be dragged along or they're going to come help along. And it's up to you to decide, okay, do you want some draggers or you want some helpers? Because I don't know about you, but if I was going up a hill and I had to carry a backpack, a laundry bag, groceries, a baby on my neck, and I had to carry all that stuff and dragging by myself, you got pe people with, come on, I'll be back to get you. Okay, but right now I gotta go because I gotta get up this hill. Okay, because destiny's at the top of this hill, and this this is we all gotta cycle together. You know what I'm saying? We all on this bike. You can't just be pulling pulling everybody. You you you. By the time you get to where you gotta go, baby, your mind will be drained, your body will be drained, your spirit will be drained, and when you get to the top, you won't even know because you'll be drained, and you'll be the top. You'll be the you'll be the one that gets to the top and then jump off. Um, sensitive topic, but very sensitive topic. But I think about, you know, the ones who, who made it and then committed suicide. That makes me think, you know, yes, I have sympathy, but it makes me think, what were they, what were they pulling with them that they couldn't heal from? And sometimes when the damage is so deep, you just fall off the deep end. And we, we didn't come here to fall off the deep end. God didn't bring us here so we could want to take our life. God brought us here so we could live our life, love our life, grow in life, experience life. 
Some of us don't realize that we're experiencing life right now. Some of us are taking that for granted. Some of us are just here, like literally just here. <laughs> like, yeah, I was here. You know, you you ever you ever go to, you ever go to like a cookout or a party, and you got the one person that just come get a plate and then leave. That's how some of us are going through life. Some of us are coming to life, grabbing a little plate. Eat and leave. We don't play no music. We don't stay for the games. We don't mingle around with other people. We don't mend relationships that broke. We just leave them there. We don't learn how to mend things. We don't learn how to work through things. We don't. We, we stop learning. We start judging. Go into the going to the cookout and just looking at everybody's outfit. Just sitting there with a plate like this. This how some y'all be through life. Metaphor. Y'all just be sitting there like this. Mm, she got on. Mm, she still with him. Mm, mm. Sitting around, sniffing everybody's booty. You sniffing everybody's but your own. Come in here and sniff your own. Some of y'all need to sniff them. Get a good whiff. <sighs> you know what I mean? See what's going on up in there. Because you too worried about what's going on around there. And, and, and you not even participating. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't, just, you, don't, you only hurt yourself through it all, okay? It's, it's, it only hurts you. And you can help yourself a little more by having a little bit more faith, working on the things that you have to work on, working on your mental health, working on controlling your thoughts. A lot of us don't make the relationships that could be phenomenal. There's so many people that I see so much potential in, and I know it's what I see. So I, I, I've learned to, you know, be a little easy because I could be, I just be so eager and happy to help. You know what I'm saying? Obviously, it's why I'm a coach. <laughs> but, you know, I see so much potential in people and, and, and families and relationships that could really go to levels that y'all won't even imagine because everybody just stuck in their thoughts. Everybody think their thoughts are was really what someone else thinks. Yes, you bring your thought into reality, but if you're not controlling those thoughts, then the reality is you got a lot, you got a salad happening. Oh, I just feel a breeze. Oh, yes. Thank you for the breeze. But some of us are too stuck in stories stories that's what it is it's a story and sometimes stories aren't real you know what I'm saying like like a movie we seen that movie but those are all actors okay some of y'all brain operate like movies y'all got all these little actors in your mind telling you excuse me, with such and such thought we're not psychic like we can have good feelings, we can have good vibes we can have intuition okay but we cannot read what everybody is thinking we do not know what someone else's thought process is and with that just walk away some of us be trying to figure out what's not meant for you to figure out. It's not meant for you to figure out. You have to be okay with that. Some of us are not okay with knowing that that is just unknown. You ever, you know, like get into science projects and, you know, well, I, I have. <laughs> and there's, there's always come, it, go, it comes a point when things are unknown. You know, that's what they like to call the unknown. I like to call it God knows and it's meant for him to know. But, you know, how, how was water created? No man can create water. It's unknown. Why is that? You get what I'm saying? I could spend years trying to figure that out. What purpose does it serve me? You know, some of us are too focused on things that w won't serve you. It's not doing, it's not, it's not benefiting you at all. Even even people people been asking me about, about the world. Is the world flat or round? To be honest, I don't know why they would lie. <laughs> and I don't know what that information would, would 
do to serve me. So if it's flat, if it's round, so be it. As long as I can feel the sun <laughs> and get me some water, that's what I'm going to focus on. I'm not going to focus on if someone lied. If someone lied, you'll know when it's time for you to know. Okay? Don't focus on that. Focus on controlling your thoughts and bringing yourself, your brand, your relationship, your family to the next level. And it's going to take time. Because you have to give time for people to process what you're going through, <laughs> what they're going through, and what the world is going through. And as much as we would like to be that Uber Eats, baby, it's not. It's not Uber Eats. <laughs> I don't know who created Uber Eats, but come on. You're you, you messing with our mind. Because, boy, they're not even that quick. They could be a little quicker. They'd be like, hour wait. I mean, Okay. Anyway, so fam, I hope you guys watch this video twice in case you miss some great pointers. Because in order for you to elevate, you have to start taking steps. And when you get to a nice, safe level, don't stop taking steps. See, see, see. All right, what else can I do? Every time you get you accomplish a step, think of a bigger goal to step to. And story time real quick, there, there was this point, right, where I came, when I, my first brand, my wig, my wig business, right, that I didn't expect to come to, you know, I came to a, a great peak, you know, and as I'm sitting around, I'm just sitting there, I'm like, I just had this fire in me, you know, I was like, I was like, I'm here. What next? You know, I didn't get there and I'm like, Woo, I'm here. Hey. No. I got there and I was like, okay, what next? I was asking everybody. I'm like, hey, what next? They looking at me like, you supposed to know. I'm like, you right. <laughs> okay. So, always think about what's next. Be that greatest biggest person that you can be you know it's not for perfection okay but it's for the glory okay Woo! and a lot of glory okay every every day i'll be like i say lord teach me something new because it's, it's nothing new under the sun you know it's a lot of times we just stop looking for something new and i say lord teach me something new and that that moment that you teach You know, it's like when you learn that little quick tick, TikTok trick, like TikTok taught me. And you're like, wow, I've been doing this all wrong. <laughs> and sometimes what God will do is he'll let you do something a certain way for a certain amount of time, right? And he'll let you master that step. And then when you master that step, he's going to show you another easiest, easier way to do that step so that now that you have mastered it and you can do it easily, now you can focus on mastering the next step. But before he show you that next step, baby, you have to master what's in front of you. And when you master what's in front of you, baby, you better know it. If you don't know it, you gonna stay at that level right there, that little safe level. We don't like safe levels. <laughs> okay, we do for a little bit, but let's keep moving. Come on, keep it going. You know, the sky is the limit. Okay, and from what I know, <laughs> there's places out in space that people even haven't been. It's an unknown, right? So, so fam, I love it. I love, I love, I love the topic for today. I feel so excited. I so, I feel so fulfilled. I hope you feel fulfilled. I hope you understand what I'm saying. I hope you look at it through all aspects of life and just take a minute and just take a step back and just look. You know. Don't think too deep, but think deep enough. Okay. All right. And, and if you need, guys, I have my business course available to you. Make that investment in you. It comes back two, two three, four, five. I promise you. Okay. Well, you invest in the right place. Okay. 
Okay, so fam, like, comment, subscribe, press the bell, leave me a comment, book you a session. Let me know what's going on. I love to hear from you.